Hey guys, welcome back. So I have something fun for you guys today. I've been on Instagram and Facebook and basically a lot of things are telling me that I have to have magnetic lashes. I went to more of the like high end brands. They both are pretty competitive in their pricing. So I really want to know like which one's better and do these actually work? The first one is Moxie Lash. And both of these I got kits because I just felt like it's a better deal. Magnetic eyeliner removal, cotton swabs, flashy lashes, sassy, and mini liquid magnetic eyeliner. This is not what it looked like in the picture. Like, this is like a sample size. Oh, some directions. I'll be needing those. And here's a Glenmatic. Okay, so these are pretty like natural looking. Lux. Ooh, those are pretty luxe. And the Virgo. This case is awesome. And we have the magnetic liquid eyeliner. A size I can do. Like I can I can pay for the size, but like come on. Apply magnetic eyeliner along your lash line, then let it dry for completely for two minutes. Hint. We suggest curling your lashes and applying any mascara you might want while you wait. It's a good hint. I can do this, I think. It's pretty like sturdy. All right, flimsy a little bit. There we go. Okay. So let's see what this thing's all about. Oh, it's like, I think it has like a felt tip, right? But I can't seem to get it like not messy. Let's go put some mascara on underneath, but like my eyelashes are clumped together. They're like hard because of the eyeliner. So I have to try to separate. They're like stuck. Look. Let's put on the lashes. I like this sassy lash from Moxie. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, these are pretty. Wow. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> it's on there. Right? Like it. Okay, guys. Like, holy crap. Oh my god, it's so cool. Right, let's try this Lux, Lux Lash. Again, that was the Sassy. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six magnets. So I guess we could cut them. This actually, this lash seems way longer than the Sassy Lash. But they're definitely a lot longer. You could definitely cut these Glamnetic Lashes. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Should I do the blow dryer test? Okay, let's try this blow dryer thing. I see you guy. Uh, yeah, guys. Wow, sorry, but I like both of these. Like, they both feel amazing. These are stuck on. I'm like terrified to take them off. These two, uh, oh my God, this is amazing. I am in awe right now. Let's try a different lash. A flashy flashy lash so this is gonna be here yeah these like stick immediately these are very long flashy is flashy okay and then this is like two the ceiling let's see what we have here oh, these are kind of flimsy these are a little bit less flashy okay I felt those kind of not Hmm, I don't know about that one. No. So 
So this live-in lash, I can barely tell, is live-in on my eyelid, literally. Right? Like, if I'm gonna wear an eyelash, then it needs to be known. Let's take it off. I'm gonna put the other one on. Not too happy about that one. Let's try this Virgo. It's the same as my lash. I feel though that because it's the synthetic one, it actually is a little bit thicker, but no length to my actual eyelashes. Let's just give back to the Lux Lash and compare that one because that actually was competing. I think maybe they went a little bit too natural with their natural ones. Okay, so let's make this a fair game here. I'm gonna put back on the Lux Lash. I actually really like this one from Glamnatic. I just love the aesthetic of it. So we have the Lux Lash over here and the flashy lashes over here. Now I'm going to be wearing them. I am also gonna to try to go for a run. I will come back to let you all know what happened. Okay, so I ran 1.87 miles. Just getting a little cold down now, but these still look amazing from what I can tell. So I am back at my apartment and these are freaking amazing. Both of them are still sticking like WTF. This is insane. So I'm gonna to try to sweat some more. I'm gonna be doing some just like push-ups and um, sit-ups here. And let's see if I can sweat and get one of these bad guys to come off. Whew. Okay guys, so I am back for my final review after I tried on all the lashes that I got from uh, Moxie Lash and Glamnetic. And then I did the blow dryer test. And then I also went for a run. And then I did crunches and push-ups and I stretched. So I sweated pretty much and then it also dried. So just taking a look at the lashes now, I can say that these Moxie Lash if you can tell, I'm literally pulling it and it is like sticking on like incredibly. Like that is insane. But now the Glamnetic, if you can see, I am pulling it and it's still on, but look, like, bro. And these are staying. So for this, all in all, the Moxie Lash wins. I am sorry, Glamnetic, but Glamnetic is beautiful. Like this lash out of all of them is my favorite. And that one was the Lux Lash just cause it's so pretty. Um, and then the other thing Glamnetic did a really well job is their magnetic eyeliner is super easy to use versus the moxie lash like come on guys like this honestly just this thing is enough to just like make my head spin like it's so freaking small like it came in my Etsy bag like literally right <laughs> um so um but this one is a little bit harder i'd say to use and like make it nice and pretty live in like i said was literally like nothing like my eyelashes are thicker than this so that's not gonna work and the other one virgo was like this one <laughs> was like nothing as well i do say overall the moxie lash is the lash so um there you have it thank you for watching and hope to see you soon bye bye